Insta Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist John Collins. Well, we use a lot of numbers in forecasting because we use computers, and computers rely on the numbers, and the numbers pretty good this winter so far. I mean, winter uh, uh, astronomically has just gotten started, but meteorologically has been in process now for about 22 days, and 59 was the high today. Not at all lined up with the typical numbers, 43 for a typical high, nor was it a record of 71, so we were comfortably in between. And the morning low this morning was 50 at BWI, and right now we're solidly around 60, all right, if you want to kind of average it out. Airport 59, 60. Uh, downtown at the Inner Harbor, Easton 59, 64 on the boardwalk, 57 Westminster, even in the 50s out in far western Maryland right now. And if we look at far western Maryland and out in the western half of Pennsylvania, the sun is out, all right? So the clouds that we've had all day, making it kind of a dismal day, it hasn't been, the rain was this morning and that moved out of the picture, but the clouds have been with us and it's felt kind of like ready to rain at any moment. Well, some of this clearing or this partial clearing will be moving in tonight. If the sky is clear enough, we may pop some fog because there's a lot of moisture in the air and a lot of moisture in the ground as temperatures fall. But that'll be a temporary thing eventually because this front is coming in very slowly. And as long as it's to our west and north, well, we get this mild flow of air coming in. Lots of moisture with that mild flow of air. Uh, and this kind of a Bermuda high, which is a summer weather padding, pattern sitting out to our uh, east. So that continues this pattern. And even when the front comes in and goes through, it's going to stall over the area, then kind of move back and forth for a couple of days, right across Christmas. So these mild temperatures will continue right into the weekend and into next week. Although the warmest of the days will be right before Christmas time. Overnight tonight, not all that cool. 52 to 57, the overnight low, which is warmer than the normal high for this time of year. Scattered clouds, a patch or two of fog. Normal lows 27, way off the mark here. The winds overnight will be calm, so that'll kind of support the, 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 the chance of some fog. Overnight, temperatures again down in the 50s, then during the day tomorrow, we'll warm it up even more than today, getting up to near 70 degrees. And then as we advance the situation onto Christmas Eve, into the mid-70s for highs around the area. All right? That seems unbelievable for this time of year. Now, that would be a little short of the record for the high, but... Who's complaining when you're well into the 70s for highs? And then on Christmas Day, uh, we expect to be again in the 60s to perhaps near 70 in a couple of places. Now tomorrow, 62 to 68, cloudy, mild, rain likely. All right, the, high, the rain chances are pretty high tomorrow, and we could get a uh, half inch or maybe as much as an inch in some areas. And uh, the normal high again is 43, so way above the mark. Southwest winds, a little breezy at 7 to 12 miles an hour. Breezy enough that small craft advisories will be out on the bay. Gusts up to 25 with a 3-foot chop potential. So dry tonight, some of that clearing, but then we cloud up tomorrow. And tomorrow is that pretty good rain chance that will continue uh, into Thursday. But by Thursday, the rain chance becomes scattered. All right, so a high rain chance tomorrow, lesser rain chances Thursday. And Friday, if there's a rain chance, and that's a big if, Probably late in the day. So I think on Christmas Day, it looks like uh, the bulk of the day probably will be rain-free. We'll see what happens. With that front kind of bouncing around the area, it's going to be a close call. 65, 73, 65, pretty good highs. 50s following uh, Christmas Day and rain chances almost every day.